Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimish Check and Stimish Package Update as of February 1st, 2021. Well, today, we're going to do a quick recap of everything leading up to current events that it will impact on the stimulus checks and that the people should be receiving whenever Congress gets around to passing the bill. Our current recaps are of people complaining about the Keystone Pipeline shutting down and how people are complaining how there's like 70,000 jobs have been lost and billions and billions of dollars are being lost. Well, what they don't realize is, is the Keystone Pipeline was only a six months job, which means it was a temporary part-time job for the um, people. And there wasn't thousands upon thousands upon thousands of jobs lost. It was actually worked around about 2,500 at best. And even at, even if the Keystone Pipeline was stayed in business and kept going, at the end of the completion of the Keystone Pipeline, only 35 of those employees actually would have had a full-time job. But what people don't realize is what the Keystone Pipeline actually represents, besides the fact that it represents the fact of encroaching on Native American land as protected. It also uh, basically says about what America really wants, because they're trying to, what the Keystone Pipeline really does is it puts through, as I've heard, it's called the mud oil. And what that is, is that is a mixture of mud and oil, which is harder to refine than regular crude oil. And if there's a leak somewhere along the, the pipeline leading from point A to point B, it's also very hard to locate that leak. And by the time they find it, the damage to the environment is already done and can't be fixed. So people complaining about the Keystone Pipeline being shut down, which is a good thing because we've already taken enough from the Native Americans as is. We don't need to be taking anything more from them. And then how about uh, Biden's stimulus package? How he wants to a $1.9 trillion stimulus package that has more unemployment, more stimulus checks, and more paycheck protection, state and local government funding, as well as others as well. Well, he still thinks that's on the, ta on the table. He still wants to actually try to do a bipartisan deal with the Republicans, even though he can bypass them with the Reconciliation Act, which would only require a vote of 50 people to pass it with Camilla Harris being the tiebreaker. Those are two things that are right now that are affecting your stimulus besides, besides the impeachment of Donald Trump. But I will get into that as well. To start off with, there is a there basically is a lot of snow in Washington DC right now. So the House and the Senate have actually had to push back a few of their things. Uh some of their businesses that would have been done today. So basically some of the progress is gonna do today they had to push back because the snow is pretty bad there. <clears throat> a group of ten Republican senators reached out to President Joe Biden to let him know that they're willing to negotiate with them about the stimulus package to a bipartisan stimulus package. Of course, their bill is way, way different than Biden's bill. Their bill is $600 billion instead of Biden's $1.9 trillion. And basically, the Democrats will look at the $600 bill, billion dollar bill as them not being serious because they're going to think that's another one of those Mitch McConnell skinny bills. And technically, it is. And I'll give you a stick with me again to about that one. The Democrats can pass the stimulus bill, like I said, just by the reconciliation, which requires 50 votes right, to pass it. And Biden has already let it be known that he is he's willing to go to give up ground to some of the Democrat Republicans on his provisions, like restricting stimulus checks to people with lower incomes of 75,000 for singles, 150,000 for the joint filers didn't mention anything about what the dependents would get but basically this is so far what biden has in there and uh, i just lost my place sorry about that and then um let's see 150 okay also of course we also got to remember biden does have the 1400 dollars stimulus checks in there but the Republican plan only provides direct payments of 
$1,000. That's right. They don't want to give you $1,400. They want to give you $1,000. For single filers, up to $40,000. And joint filers, up to $80,000. So they're basically knocking down the cap even more because they want to keep going to knock the budget down. This is how they're kind of knocking down to $600 billion. It would also cut the unemployment benefits from $400 a week in the Biden proposal to the $300 a week in the Republican proposal. These payments would only last until June, but not until September, which is in the Biden proposal. But there are parts where both of the Democrats and Republicans see eye to eye on, such as the $160 billion for COVID-19 funding, which is for trace uh, vaccine distributions, testing, tracing, and so on. As well as $4 billion for behavioral health and substance abuse. But there's also a very widespread thing on the whole thing with Republicans and Democrats as well. The whole widespread thing is, is um, basically in the um, Biden proposal, there is local, state and local government funding for $350 billion. Now keep in mind, the Republican proposal is $600 billion. So basically, the the state and local government funding is going to be cut because you know how the Republicans are. They don't want to give money out to states that are hurting because they've poorly managed their funds, even though some of the Republican states are those states. So basically, they want to knock Biden's plan down from $1.9 trillion to $600 billion, and I'm guessing the state and local government uh, funding is actually going to be cut to half that, if not less than half that, which is not a good thing. And as far as the, the Trump impeachment trials, I'm not sure if you guys have heard, but his current law, his, his current lawyers that's supposed to represent him quit. So he actually had to hire two new attorneys to represent him. And I, I forget what their names were. But um, I hate to say it, when it comes to, when it comes to the impeachment trial, I actually don't really think they're gonna convict him of uh, sedition because uh, it's gonna take seventeen Republicans to convict him. And so far, I know there's Mitt Romney and oh my gosh, who's the other one? There's no, there's another Republican out there that's actually willing to back the conviction of Donald Trump. So basically, I don't think he's going to be convicted, which would allow him to rerun for president in 2024, which would give him a great backing because of all the people that, as much as I don't like to say this, but it is the truth. If I've actually watched the videos about the um, Trump supporters out there that are in prison crying about a crazy flag and how their American flag has been taken down and how their American flag is the Trump 2020 flag and the crazy flag is the actual American flag. So Trump basically does have a lot of supporters out there. I don't think he has like 80 million supporters, but then again, I don't know. I mean, they're like in every state. I mean, people are still complaining about uh, the whole, how the Democrats stole the elections when in fact they did not. Donald Trump's one who caused himself the um, elections by crying wolf before the elections, during the elections, and even after the elections. So if he runs for president again, I hope he loses and he doesn't try to run again because I really don't trust Trump. He would rather screw our economy and then help the people. His actions have proven that with over 400,000 deaths that are on his hands, even the ones that have occurred during the, Bi the Biden presidency that Trump left behind. But this is and always will be the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe out there. Remember to wear a mask to not just protect yourself, but to protect those around you. And until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I'll broadcast you guys tomorrow or the next day. Probably tomorrow. So until then, you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.